five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. This is about space. America's return to space with news and information on our U.S. space program. From our About Space Today World Headquarters on Florida's Space Coast, I'm John Gomez, and here are the stories you need to know about. Blue Origin is finally launching its second human-rated New Shepard rocket for the first time, and SpaceX is launching Falcon 9s again, and this payload is bound for an asteroid. This and more next, as America and the world is listening to About Space Today. D&D Cruise and Tours is the official agent for About Space, and we invite you to come fly away to all-inclusive resort island destinations, or a cruise vacation from Port Canaveral, and even visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, or just come and see the parks. Call for a discount cruise or an island getaway or the Florida beaches. Call today. The call is free, and so are our services. Call 877-747-8631. That's 877-747-8631. We are Florida's group travel specialists. Welcome back. In a stunning reversal, I'm going to flip the stories around and tell you about SpaceX first. So on Monday, SpaceX launched the ESA's Hera spacecraft toward the asteroid Dimorphos. Remember Dimorphos? That's what DART hit a couple of years ago and knocked it off its trajectory. So we're going back there because they want to do a post-impact evaluation as part of a pair of launches from Blue Origin and SpaceX. So Hera is going to go back and what they're going to do is it's going to look at the damage and do a damage assessment of where uh, Dart struck Dimorphos to see exactly the damage and what it did to throw this thing off course. Air is going to assess the aftermath of that impact and study both the surface and the internal structure of the asteroid in greater detail. It's got these two small uh, satellites that it's also going to launch that are going to go on the surface and get some more details. So stay tuned to About Space today. Uh, it's going to take about six months to get there, but we'll keep you up to date on what happens with uh, the ESA's HERA mission. In other news, by the time you listen to this podcast, a second launch will have happened. The first was SpaceX launching the Hera mission. The second is by Blue Origin launching an uncrewed New Glenn spacecraft on a brief trip to suborbital space. This was the first launch for this specific spacecraft, and it's human rated, meaning people can actually fly in it. The mission is NS-27, and it launched from the company's West Texas site just north of Van Horten, Texas, near the border with Mexico. Please stay tuned to About Space Today for more updates on Blue Origin and their fleet of New Glenn spacecraft. Make sure you check out our Facebook page, About Space Today, for details on launches and landings. You can find us on your favorite podcast platform. Just don't forget to mash the like and subscribe button, especially on YouTube. Check out David Denault twice a week with Special Report and Don Meyer every Friday with America in Space. Whether you're listening from the International Space Station taking a walk down the street, or just listening in your phone at home. Thanks for joining me. I'm John Gomez, and you just learned a little about space today. <laughs>